I've just got this in the post today. It's a um, Turnergy 2.2 amp hour battery, 7.4 volts, and I brought it for the um, CMAT X8C. Uh, now, fit wise, that's how it fits. So it protrudes out slightly. Not much you can do about that, but um, they're only like, I think they're. Uh, it's under six pounds each. I bought two of them. I'm not really bothered about that. I've, all I'm going to do is, is either put a, like, a Velcro tie around it, or uh, just uh, put an elastic band around or something. And that'll do the job. And uh, the other thing is, it comes with one of these um, XT60 plugs on it, which I actually um, prefer out of most of the plugs that you get. So I'm going to be switching this connection out here. I brought some of these um, connectors. I brought um, five male, five female connectors, and they were like about four pound for the lot. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing anyway. I'm switching this out. I'm going to put some of these XT60 connectors on there. All right, then. So I'm just going to chop these off. Won't be using that again anyway. Yeah, I'll just uh, strip the wires back. <coughs> and just twist the ends. And tin the wires. So really when you um, sold these up, you really want both plugs because then you can plug them together like that and then one on this side will hold this one so it doesn't go out of alignment when you solder it because sometimes that will get soft and they'll move about in there and then you'll have trouble trying to um, realign them after they've cooled down. So make sure you get the right one. See our female one that goes on the quadcopter, try to mount that in there, uh, need some heat shrink, you can get that from Hobby King as well if you um, have to, or if not uh, eBay is usually a good place, you can usually get uh, quite a bit of it for a few pounds, so I'm just going to tin these up, and just get your piece of, remember to put your heat shrink on first before you solder the wires on. Easy mistake to make. Make sure you put it quite um, far up because if not, you'll find it that will shrink on you with the heat. There we go, new connector on, just make sure you've got a good connection, yep that's good, just let it cool down for a minute or so before you put the heat shrink on, because if not you'll get, sometimes you'll get halfway down here and it'll start to shrink before you get over the uh, metal contacts, so I'll just leave it to cool down for a minute. Right so now just put the heat shrink on. Shrink it lighter. You can do it with the um, back of the soldering iron, but it's quicker to do it with a lighter. And there we go. One connector. There's a 2200 um, milliamp power. And there's the uh, standard battery. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in size. Anyway, let's try it. In. And there we go, it works.
Uh, hopefully I will have a test flight of this and try to find out how uh, many minutes extra it gives me. And I will report back in another video. Alright, so there we go. I've got the battery in. I couldn't find my Velcro cable ties, but uh, it doesn't stick out very far, actually. A little bit. So that's not too bad, really. As long as it works, that's the main thing. And also, um, these batteries are cheaper than buying from China anyway, and uh, they're of better quality, so... Yeah, definitely worth buying these batteries, even though they do poke out a bit. Um, I'll leave a um, leave links in the description for the parts, uh, the battery and the uh, connectors, just in case you're interested. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.